Hey, check this out. It's the all new 2014 Mazda 3. And I got to tell you, I'm really excited to drive this car because the current Mazda 3, the 2013, even though it has been aging, it still is right at the very top, in my opinion, in terms of driving dynamics. So if you're somebody who likes to have fun behind the wheel, the current car is already very good. And this one is supposed to be even better. It's the third vehicle to get the Sky Active full suite of technology, brand new platform, engines and transmissions. So brand new from the ground up. It's a great looking car as well. They call it Kodo, soul in motion. It's supposed to look like the car is moving when it's standing still and it certainly looks fantastic. The car is wider, the roof line has been dropped down actually just a little bit shorter but what they've done is they've stretched the wheels out to either corner which provides greater interior room and also gives you a fabulous platform from which to build the suspension. So the outside definitely is an A plus in my opinion. Let's have a look inside and see what touches they've added to this new Mazda 3. Mazda's design philosophy for the inside was to have a dynamic looking interior. You gotta remember, this is in the compact class of vehicles. And when you look at this car, it looks pretty fancy. Vehicles that maybe cost a lot more would have a similar interior. First, the dash isn't just soft, it's plush. It's like underlay in a broadloom carpet. In addition, it's got a display that keeps your head up and looking down the road. It's standard on the middle trim and the top end trim. The base model doesn't get that screen. In addition, there's a heads up display that's available so it can project information like the speed, where you have to turn with the navigation onto a small screen that flips up. It, it's not as clear as other vehicles with their heads up display on more expensive vehicles, but considering the price tag, it's pretty good. The one thing you'll also notice, there's a controller here in the center. It controls the screen and it has a very easy setup. There's three buttons above the controller and they did lots of studies to find out how could they get people to use the controller without having to look down at it. And they found out that three buttons above the center controller was the ideal number. In the middle is the home screen, to the left is entertainment, and to right is navigation. So you can drive along and push those buttons and move the dial around without actually having to look down. The volume knob is right next to it, which has been stolen from Audi, but I love it. Cars that don't have the volume next to the controller, I really think they're missing out on an opportunity. Overall design looks sporty, but also more spacious. This car is wider than the previous model. It's got a lot more room inside because it's got a longer wheelbase by a six full centimeters. So that's all good for passengers on the inside. Now, even though the Mazda CX-5 was the first vehicle to have the full suite of Skyactiv technology, the Mazda 3 was the first vehicle to have a Skyactiv engine. And they've carried over that 2-liter power plant from the 2013 model, but it has a bump up in torque. Now it's 155 horsepower. The good news, though, is that the 2.5-liter engine is now a Skyactiv engine as well. It has 184 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. That's 17 more horsepower than the old 2.5-liter engine now with direct injection and much improved fuel efficiency. Now the other thing that they've done with this Mazda 3 is advance the steering and front wheel geometry to be more aggressive. So when you turn in the steering wheel, you get more bite. In addition, the way that they've dialed in the steering is a lot quicker, which is actually quicker than the Mazda Miata, the MX-5. So you get a quite dialed in feedback, even though it's electric power steering, they've done as much as they can to overcompensate the typical numbness you get from that style of steering. Now a six-speed manual transmission comes standard on the base model. Six-speed Skyactiv automatic is available. Now here's maybe the good and bad news. If you get the top GT trim with the bigger two and a half liter engine, you have to take the manual transmission. They're studying bringing a manual with that engine, but they haven't made any firm plans yet. You know what's amazing to me following the car industry for 20 plus years? It's not the high-end supercars and luxury cars. It's cars like this. What you can get for roughly $16,000 is mind-boggling. The technology that's available in today's compact cars is first rate. Of course, the one we have here is not $16,000, but even so, look at the technology that's in this car. Heads-up display, computer interface controller in the center. You've got a large screen to interact with the car. You've got a whole new platform, the Skyactiv technology that gives you that planted road feel and a fabulous looking package. Before, when you owned a compact car, it was blah and ho-hum. Now you can own a car. When you open your garage in the morning, you're happy to drive to work or go to school. So this ticks a lot of boxes for people that are looking at a compact car. The Mazda 3, I really think, is now the benchmark in this class.